Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Dear Dhamma friends, today we are going to begin a sutta. This sutta is from Majjhima Nikaya, middle length discourses. Uh, this sutta's name is Sabha Sava Sutta. Sabha Sava means all the tense. Okay. Tense are or Sabha Sava means Ashrava. It means that for the long time that we are bringing some practices or the usual habit that we can call. Like once you go for any uh, any shop that you like the tea from there, what you do next time? Automatically, you drive your car toward that shop. You do not have to think of it. You do not have to say that, okay, I want to go this particular shop. Once you like it, then you drive yourself directly there. And for some of the time that our menu is also already fixed. Okay, I want this. So without looking at menu after time that you order something. So our ashrava, our defilements, our chances also something like that. Once you became habitual of it, or once you liked it a lot, then automatically, these things repeated in your mind, repeated in your life continuously. Like, if you develop a desire to a particular thing, or if you have that attraction to it, what we do all the time that we want that more and more, more and more, that desire grows. Hmm? That is called harshness. The strains of it means in previous life or long journey of sansara, what we have felt, what we have seen in this world, we again, we begin to think in the same way that desire what we comes to our life or uh, the practices what we did. Same practice we continue in this world also. It's very hard for us to get rid of it. You know, habits, we know this is the wrong thing. We know our, our, some of the habits. It's not helping us to develop the path. But still, we are bound with it. The reason is that it became the practice. You know, so if you see that how the people grow the drug addiction, something like that in our life also. We are not addicted to drugs, but we are addicted to our practices. That addiction is similar with the defilements or ashram or tents. Even you get sober for this life, means now that we are all practicing the Dhamma. So we are avoiding the certain things that usually happens in our life. Like all over the world, they are not following the precepts. And what we are doing? We are practicing to become a virtuous person. So that certain thing, how many difficulties we have to face. If someone is breaking the precepts for that person, it's very easy to do. But for us, when we are practicing, so many obstacles comes. And even if we are unable to control ourselves, 
we break those precepts. That thing unable to control, it is come from the ashram. It is come from the world defilements. Understanding that. So the Supreme Buddha explains this entire sutta is about how to get rid of these previous practices, the effect of it in our life. Like if someone is used to tell lies always, for such a person becoming truthful, how difficult it is. It is very difficult. It means every time whenever he wants to tell us truth, the first, the lie will come to his mind. It will come to him easily. But telling the truth is it in the heart. You know, so that thing, how difficult it is to change. Supreme Buddha explained what to do when such a things happen. How to develop the path, Supreme Buddha tells in this particular sutra. So, because the ashrava is the one thing that are creating again and again this karma. Like this body or this life, this ashrava is recycling. All whatever you do, the quality or the, what, we, what we call, when we recycle from the paper, again we create the paper or the wood or similar certain things of that. Something like this we create in our life also. We do the same thing. From this life, we are creating another with the same source. The DNA is not changed. The idea we hold all the karma we drag together. So in this Sutta Supreme Buddha explain how to wash those karma, how to clean that practices what we have carried for a long time. And that is called Sabbasava Sutta. So this is the summary of sutta. Sutta began like this. Evan me sutta. The Ananda Bhante always explains that. Does I have heard? Ekang samayang bhagava savatiyang viharati jetavani anatha siddhika sara. Supreme Buddha was dwelling at the Jetavana monastery which is offered by anatha pindika. Tatra ko bhagava bhikkhu amante si. And the Supreme Buddha called all the monks as bhikkhus and the bhikkhu replied badanta to the supreme buddha supreme buddha explained sabbasava sangvara pariyayango bhikkave desi sami because i shall teach you a discourse on the restraint of all the tents so all the ashravas how to restrain from it i'm going to Teach you. Tang sa sunat sadukang manasi karotar. Listen carefully, closely. I will share. Say. And then the monks replied to him, Yes, Bante. And Supreme Buddha taught. Janato ahang bhikkave pasato asavanang kayang vadami. No ajanato, no pasato. So, Supreme Buddha explained. Destruction of tents is for one who knows and sees, not for one who does not know and see. So the Supreme Buddha explained this ashra also, when we are destroying or finishing it, it can be happen only for that person who see it, who understands it, not for those who does not see or understand. Kincha bhikkave janato, kincha pasato aswanan kayan vadami. And who knows and sees what? Yoni socha manasikara, ayoni socha manasikara. Means the wise attention or consideration or and unwise attention. So these two things, wise consideration or wise attention and unwise attention. These are the two things that by looking and knowing this ashrava, the tense can be eradicated. Tense can be finished from our life or destroyed from our life. So yoniso manasikara and ayoniso manasikara. Wise consideration and unwise consideration. Remember this. 
this is the most important thing this is the weapon or this is the tool to use for removing the stems okay so the entire sutra is explained by using this tool okay what is it wise consideration and unwise consideration so one is helpful for us one is not supreme buddha explained ayoniso bhikkhave manasi karato anuppanna cheva asava upanchi when you have unwise attention unwise consideration then anuppanna cheva asava the ash of the tents which has not been arised yet those arise in our life because we are not paying attention to it so the tents which is not arrived in our life which is not visible in this moment those arise in our life then uppanna cha sava pavardhanti the tents or the defilements that already has arised those increase those grows with our life like see when we are very young that time we did not know what is a telling lie is we did not know what is drinking intoxicating drinks and drugs we did not know what is sexual misconduct is on that time it is not worried us our life was very easy but when we see our this world by growing slowly slowly what we see okay doing the such a things our life becomes more easy telling lies that we can avoid the getting scolded you know so we did that thing by looking at the world and what happened once you tell the lie and no one catch it what happened that increase in our life again and again so why because unwise consideration was there we did not think that this behavior or this particular thing what will it affect on how it will affect on our life so supreme buddha is saying telling that thing that because of unwise consideration what happens anupana the defilements or chants or ashrava which has not been arrived yet those comes to our life so when we were young that time this tent wasn't there this habits of telling lies this habits of drinking this habits of unwholesome acts was not there that's why we call the youngs are innocent you know children are very innocent they are beautiful things so the same way but when we grow slowly old when we grow on that time we did not pay attention how the life is going and that's why this grass when we are now young when we are already understand this world if we don't pay attention to this particular thing what happens those ashrava those tents those defilements increases day by day you see that that effect you can see immediately in your day to day life if you don't pay attention to the certain things what happens those things increases in your life supreme buddha say uppanna cha sava pavartati dosha ashrava increases yoni soch bhikkave manasi karot when you have the wise consideration anupanna che vasava na upanna when you have the wise consideration on that time those the tents which are not arised yet the tent which is not come to our life yet does not appear when you are paying attention like certain things you avoid like we all know drugs are very harmful for us even our government may have said okay marijuana for certain stage is okay to have it's not now offense but still we know how it effect on our life so what we do 
all things i will do but i will avoid i will avoid myself from drugs such a things we make in our life we teach our kids okay certain things you can do but don't do drugs that is most harmful thing doesn't that we teach to our kids yes we okay we okay you can go to the parties you can go for movies you can enjoy your life but promise me that you are not going to take drugs that thing and the kid also thinks sometimes okay i see in this world our young generation think okay i see this all things is okay but who are addicted to drugs for very hard for them to stop it then i will do enjoy my life in other way but not doing the drugs so that is consideration what that person is thinking okay i want to avoid this so whenever the opportunity comes what he will do what she will do she will try to avoid that that supreme buddha explained that ve yoni so manasi kara when the wise consideration attention is there then this unreason tense does not arise and upanna cha sava pahinanti when particular things particular person thinks that this behavior has caused a lot in my life it did not bring joy what i was looking into this world but only and only sorrow and lamentation i brought so that person thinks i am going to stop this certain things from this moment i am going to avoid these things so that attention what it does it stops him from doing unwholesome actions that is supreme buddha says upanach asava pahiyanti reason tense or defilements it subsides or abandoned destroyed supreme buddha explain there are then he explains how to do these certain certain things means simply in a one word you can put when you are you do you have the unwise attention then this asana will grow it develop it increase when you have wise consideration wise attention when you are paying attention to it then reason uh, things stop and unreason uh, tense does not arise so this is the particular thing but how it will happen how to do it 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 must have a certain way so supreme would they explain what is that thing here you guys understanding what i'm saying huh yes okay supreme would they explain prati bhikave asava dasana pahatabha because there are some times or ashrava which can be abandoned by sea when you see those things in your life then you can get rid of it atyasava sangvara pahatabha by restraining yourself some of the tense you can get or you can abandon them atyasava pati sevana there are certain tense or defilements you can abandon by or you can get rid of by using it practicing in your life in that way also you can get rid of some of the asava atyasava pahata then injuring it some of them you can get rid of that atyasava parivajjana pahata that avoiding avoiding some of the things then you can get rid of or abandon defilements atyasava vinodana pahatabha there are some of the defilements you can get rid of by removing it atyasava bhavana pahatabha there are tense there are defilements there are ashrava that should be abandoned by developing so supreme buddha explain there are uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 seven ways to abandon avoid destroy this tense the practices which drag us into this life and still 
taking us toward this long journey of samsara. So every time when we see that what the Buddhism teaches us to do, how this Buddhism is effective in our day-to-day life, this is the path that Supreme Buddha explained to us. If someone utilizes it, someone practices it in their life, then that person can overcome this tense. Okay. So one by one, we're going to look at it. I think a couple of months before, the Bhante has did already this sutta, and we were going to learn it again, because this is our day-to-day -day life to practice. Means it should be, this sutta should be, or this dharma should be in always in front of you. Because what kind of tense or what kind of defilement will arrive in our life, we are unable to know. We don't know, okay, this one will come next. So let me prepare for like that. Like in an exam, whole year you study and you don't know which question is going to come into your paper, you know, how you are going to write it down. You don't know that. But you have to prepare for all the things what you have learned in entire year. Then you can write it down. Yeah, then you can solve the problem and you can go to the next class. Neither what will happen. You have to repeat that again. In the same in Buddhism also, you have to do the same thing. What you have to do, you have to learn the Dhamma and you have to prepare for all the things which is going to come in front of you. And then if you know the Dhamma, then you can Get rid of. So the first thing we're going to learn is called Dasana Pahatabha. Dasana Pahatabha means tends to be abandoned by seeing. Looking that these things exist in me, this is visible in my life. By knowing it, you can abandon. So when we say that looking at ourselves, seeing what is in us. This is the one of the things you have to watch. If you see in your life, self-investigation, self-investigation, looking at yourself, you know, seeing in you what exists, that is it come here. Okay. Supreme Buddha explains, beautiful sutta to have and beautiful sutta to practice. Means uh, if you look at this sutra, when you understand Visualize that in the Supreme Buddha's time, how this harmony was there, how the Sangha stays together. You know, in the Sangha, there is called uh, Samagganan Tapo Sukho, Sukha Sangha, so Samagi Samagganan Tapo Sukho. The unity of Sangha is delightful, or it is cause of happiness. And when they practice, they strive for enlightenment together, that is also the happiest thing in this world. So how this togetherness come to them, how this, they all follow the path equally, it explains this is the way they have dealt with. They have seen the tense in their life and abandoned it. So you can see the Sangha's quality in here too. And you can become the part of Sangha too. So first is Supreme Buddha explained, Katamecha Bhikkave Asava Dasana Pahatabha. And what Bhikkhu's tent should be abandoned by seeing? Either Bhikkave Asutava Puthajano. So now, Supreme Buddha explained here because Asutava Puthajano, it means the ordinary person who does not see the Dhamma. Puthajana means outside of world. What is it? Aryanam Adasavi does not wish to see the noble ones. Aryadhammas Akovido. It means the noble people or the monks or Supreme Buddha, what Dhamma he teaches, this person unskilled in that. So Dhamma does not know the Dhamma. Who doesn't know the Dhamma? Puthajana. Puthajana means the person outside of this dispensation, outside of Buddhism. 
so when you see the entire world who does not know the word of supreme buddha how you will call them you will call them putajjana you know it's similar word called like a mughal you know yes so something like that they are mughals so this one is that supreme buddha explain then arya dhamme avinito the noble who practice this path they are undisciplined in it saprish adassavi does not know who is saprish the good friend or disciple then sapurish dhammas akovido the person who is practicing the path that is called sapurish so they are unable to or unskillful in their dhamma sapurish dhamme avinito they are unskillful uh, in the practicing of their dhamma supreme buddha explained manasikare dhamme na pajanati in our mind okay does not understand what things are fit for attention so manasikare dhamme na pajanati whatever means what to think such a thought they did not this does not know amanasikare dhamme na pajanati what should think and what not should be thinking such a dhamma they does not know so like come compare to ourselves see when certain things arise in our life we know anger is not good for us do we know that we know that anger is not good for us but for certain people who does not know about this dhamma they think okay anger is a part of life you should get angry it does not nothing happens you know people thinks in this world that supreme buddha is explaining here manasikare dhamme na pajanati what should be thinking what we should be thinking this putujjana the person who does not know the dhamma outsider of this dispensation does not know what to think amanasi kare dhamme na pajanati this person who is outside of dhamma does not know what not should be thinking means this thoughts we should avoid such a thing does not come. like from the tradition so many things are come that that there are people we can uh, discriminate you know that this person is something like that this person is that so when we see this all the human beings are together equal then this discrimination how it comes to us like we are immigrant in this country majority of us some of the born so we feel that who are native in this country they are certain things that okay who are immigrants we should treat them differently such a thought has already established in our mind and generation by generation we are thinking okay we are all equal but knowingly unknowingly that certain thoughts arise in our life why is that because whole world is thinking in this way such a thing supreme buddha explained this person who does not know the dhamma doesn't know amanasikare dhamme na pajanati what should not be thinking such a thoughts he doesn't know okay this thoughts i should avoid this person doesn't know then supreme buddha explain soch manasikare dhamme appajananto amanasikare dhamme appajananto ye dhamma na manasikarniya te dhamme manasikarote ye dhamma manasikarniya te dhamme na manasikarote so by not knowing what should be thinking and what not should be thinking without knowing that the thoughts which not be which should not be thinking he thinks on that by 
this dhamma not should be thinking or should be thinking he does not think because of that what happened he drags the wrong karma the bad karma in his life what should be doing he doesn't do what should not be doing he is doing that supreme buddha explained katame ch bhikkave dhamma na manasi karniya ye dhamme manasi karote and what bhikkhus is the dhamma that which should not be thinking na manasi karniya which should not be bring in the consideration or paying attention this person thinks of इंक्रीजे what is the thinking he is doing what are the things unpaid for attention uh, that he is attending to this is the thing by paying attention unreason sensual desire arises reason sensual uh, desire the tense are increasing then anupanno va bhavasavo uppajjati the unreason tense of being arise in him and reason tense of being increases that thing the bhavas the helpful thought things for existence like because of these certain things that our existence will increase such a thing he pays attention to do that that now what we are doing when we become the disciple of supreme buddha what is our motto to do to liberate ourselves from this sansara to go beyond existence that the existence which is completely filled with sorrow lamentation pain and suffering as a disciple of supreme buddha we are willing to go beyond this that thing we are practicing this dhamma the supreme buddha's dhamma is for that so that existing something has brought us to in this existing that called bhavas ashrava which helps the tense which helps for existence being supreme buddha explain this putujjana this person outside of dhamma what he does he is thinking he pays attention to those things which should not be pay attention is by anupan unreason tense of existence or be existing him arise in him upanno va bhavasu over thank you which tense it already existed in him to help him to sustain the life or continuous of being that increases that develops in him then supreme buddha explain anupanno va avijjasu avijja it means ignorance okay anupanno va avijjasu the ashrava of ignorance the tense of ignorance the strength or the chain of ignorance that we know that we have the ignorance in our life but the continue the rapid effect of that con- constant effect of ignorance what is there such a thing that anupanna anupanno va avijjasa the unreason ignorance habit arise in our life this unwise person or this uh, outsider person practice in his life and upannova avijja sabo pavidat so the existed existed ignorance tense 
it develop increases in life ime dhammana manasi karniya ye dhamme manasi supreme buddha says this dhamma it should not be thinking he thinks on it like the same some summary of it you may think like that we should not think we should not develop which one the sensual desire the desire or we call the causes for existence and ignorance this dhamma we should not be thinking this unwise person the outsider of us dhamma he thinks of it you get it that that the outside person he thinks of this particular thing which should not be considered right we should not be pay attention on then supreme buddha explained katame ji dha bhikkave dhamma manasi karniya ye dhamme na manasi karoti then which dhamma is should be thinking should be pay attention on but this person does not pay does not think yas bhikkave dhamme manasi karoto anupanno va kama se anupanno so opposite of the previous one the dhamma which helps to get rid of kama so it means help of to get rid of our sensual desire such a dhamma we should be thinking does not think like when you became the part of buddhism what we teach to you what the bhante is or for us also for the novice monk when the, we become novice monk certain things one by one practices are there they did not teach you okay this is the noble truth this is the thing that you are becoming going to become enlightened no what they teach okay restrain yourself by body avoid these things you know observe the precepts and follow that properly by that what happens we develop the process okay i should be virtuous person i should avoid unvirtue or a trade of my bad habits that thing is there so this thing what we see see that i was unvirtuous person and now i am coming to the virtue so this dasana pahatabba the tends to be avoided or get rid of removed by seeing so you have to see this thing which exists in our life then if you are aware of these things then you can get rid of like if you see something certain things are wrong in your life what you do then you get rid of it like uh if you have any bad habit if you don't know about that bad habit what happened you don't pay attention on it you don't try to get rid of it you continuously act on that but if we, if someone shows you this is the bad habit or if you understand because of this particular thing it caused you a lot in your life then what you do after looking that particular habit you try to avoid this is something like that looking in your life that these things exist see it explains supreme buddha explain here the same way that the ignorance also the person uh, for first uh, the bhavasu which caused us to be exist to create existence such a thing we should not be thinking he thinks so which should be thinking he does not think on for the ignorance also he does the same thing ime dhamma na manasi karniya ye dhamme manasi karoti the dhamma he should not be pay attention on he pays attention to toward it tas amanasi karniya nan dhamma nan manasi kara manasi karniya nan dhamma nan amanasi kara anupanna chev asava uppajjati upannach asava pavat what the supreme buddha says by doing this the dhamma we should not be developed he is developing we should not be thinking i thinking it the dhamma he should think on 
is not thinking. By doing that, anupanna asava upanjati, which tense is not arising yet, it arises. Upanna asava pavati. Already existed Dhamma increases in this life. So evang yoni socha manasika, uh, ayoni socha manasika roto, aho sing nukho ahang atitamadhana. Then Supreme Buddha explained in details what way this ayoni so manasika, unwise attention is existing in his life. Then he thinks on all the things that, okay, what he says that this is how he attained it unwisely. So now he, Supreme Buddha explained how he is paying attention to it. Unwise attention, what it is. Was I in the past? Was I not in the past? Isn't that something, certain things is, comes in our mind where I was in previous life? Was I there? Certain things. Oh, no, no. God created you. So there was nothing be before the God's creation. You were already here. But some of the thought says, no, you were before. So we also think, am I really was here or not? So such a thing. Then, what was I in the past? In the, if I was in the past, what form I had? Like in Buddhism, it also explains. Okay, you may be past in the animal world. So some of the time, what you think? I have this habit, I may be deer, or I may be rabbit, or I'm, or I'm walking very slow. I may be turtle, you know, or tortoise, something like that. We, we, we feel in our life. We try to compare in our life. Okay, I was something like that. Then how was I in the past? If I am there. So when we see the animals outside, okay, I was like this also. I was walking, old. I may have been in this forest. Something like that, we think. Hmm? Then, having been what? What did I become in the past? So when I was a child, right? I may have done certain things. Or when I was a fish, I may have traveled to this unknown sea. Or I may have gone beyond that. What I have done there? Or... From there, where I born, before that, where I was, certain people pay attention on it. Even for us also, when we are practicing Buddhism, certain things we also think in our day-to-day -day life. Isn't that? We do. Then this is this thinking is for unwise person to do, but we are doing also. So in that way, we are also unwise. Then we think. Shall I be in the future? I will be in the future. Means some of the mythologies explain this is your last life. When you go to the uh, what is called cemetery, that is a final. Nothing is there beyond that. For such a person, also there is a thought: Will I be in future or not? They think in that way. Or shall I be not be in the future? Or Shall I? Can I stop by myself? Hmm? What shall I be in the future? Then decide. And we decide. When we go to the aquarium, we see the beautiful fishes. I want to become like this. Such a things we develop. Or you ask certain kids when, when they go, what you want to become? And they say, I want to become a bird. You know, or, I want to fly all everywhere. Something. Uh, our teacher, one of the time, he says, he asked from the one old lady, what do you want to become? And if you if you have the future life, what do you want to become? And she says, one day I want to become a bird so I can go anywhere, wherever I want. So the, our teacher explains in that way that unwise person, when he sees, he sees only flying of that bird. He does not see why this bird is flying? Constant hunger does not see. The fear from the prey does not see. 
the hunters are there does not see what this person is looking at only this bird can fly and go wherever this person wants so unwise persons thinking is something like this see only this particular one bit of life and these things everything is like that small things so shall i be or not is there then having been what what shall i become in the future so now i am here what i will become in the future too you know that's why the, the world is frightened the religion is gives you have done these offenses then you have to suffer in this way so what the religion tell us go and wash your sin you know go and go take the uh dip in the ganges so your sin will be washed or go and confess go and pay the do the sacrifices so you can be so because of that then you can choose a different life something how shall i be in the past that is the thoughts of the person have you know then am i am i not what am i how am i this all certain things where uh, where has this being come from and where it will go such a thoughts which is unnecessary unuseful thoughts this person thinks of it that this putajjana the outsider of this dharma dispensation this person thinks in this way then what he thinks again when he attains unwisely in this way one of six views arise in him that supreme buddha explain because of thinking this unwisely because of paying unwise thinking or paying attention this unwisely what it happens one of the six view it arise view is the most uh hardest things to have you know ditti upadane it is very hard to get rid of very hard to get rid of once you become the habitual of that thought or the t or the view it is very hard to get rid of because of this ditti we are still dwelling here one of the six arise in him what the view of self exist the view self exist for me arise in him as a true and established or the view of no self exist for me it means that atti me attati va uh, means such a thing that i will be here atti me attati i am existing i am that thought arise in him natti me attati there is no me such a thought arise in him then atnav attana sanyamati means that i perceive self with self means looking at that myself toward this is there atnavattana sanyanami because of me i am looking myself there atnavat anattanam sanyanami so so one by one this person thinks that i am here i am not here because of this i am here because of this i am not here so the view of that self is there then yojame attavado vadeya tatra kalyana paap kanam kammanam vipad kanam pati samvedeti sokopan me ayam atta nichcho dhu sasato apirip nam dham so he thinks that because of me because of this person is there whatever he does vado vadeyo tatra kalyana va paap kanam so whatever he does good thing or bad thing re kamanang vipaka 
the result of this karma is there so because of result of this karma i become permanent dhuvo sasato avipina aviparit nam dhammo because of this actions because of this karma i becomes permanent such a thoughts arise in him iti vuchati bhikave ditthi gatam ditthi gahana ditthi kantaram ditthi visukam ditthi vipanditam ditthi sanyojana supreme buddha explain in this one more one by one it is this self or mind and speaks feels and existence result of good and bad actions the person in view because is called the thicket of views the wilderness of views the contraction of views the resiliation of views the fetter of views the fated by fetter of views the unthought ordinary person is not freed from birth aging and death from sorrow lamentation pain grief and despair he is not freed from suffering supreme buddha explain one by one because of this view what happens he build the shackle in his life this this thoughts this view is hold him into this world because of this views is very strong uh, bound on us supreme buddha explain because of this view this unwise person the outsider of this dhamma the putujjana na parimuchati does not be become free from this birth from aging from death see the sim uh, the summary of this entire content is because if you develop the view that view hold us the grasp us in this way what it says the wilderness of view you know the wilderness how it is very thick very strong it's very hard to find the directions something like view is become the builds again and again the view is kind of weed you know constantly growing every time how many times you try to remove it even the one seed remains it increases again and again something like that patterns it means shackle in your life it holds and because of this view existence of you this person is not free sutuvaccha ko bhikkave arya savako now the supreme buddha explaining about the person who is listened the dhamma because a well taught noble disciple who has regard regard for the noble ones and is skilled in the discipline of the uh, in their dhamma who has regard for the true man true man and for the attention and what things are unfit for attention since that is so he does not attain to those things unfit for attention and he attains to those things fit for attention so the supreme buddha explained him that that sutvaach bhikkave arya savako aryananda savi so this wise person this listener of dhamma sutva means who under who learn this dhamma so as you are learning the dhamma you can call yourself as a sutva who is a listener of dhamma you cannot say entirely well taught but yes we are learning the dhamma so we are come into this category because we know what to think and what not to think don't we we do so that's why we come into this category so what they explain here this person who understands the dhamma who learned the dhamma is aryanang dasavi he has seen the noble people arya dhamma se kovido he know dhamma very well arya dhamme suvinito he understand discipline in this dhamma he understand this dhamma sab purusanang dasavi he knows the noble friends the wise people the person who is already skilled in this dhamma like you all together 
when you talk with each other for that is you can call the sub what is conversation such a person yo manasikare dhamme bhajananto ammanasikare dhamme bhajananto this person know what to think what should not be thinking what he does the dhamma which not should be thinking he does not think of it the dhamma ye dhamma manasikarniya te dhamma manasikaroti the dhamma we should be thinking should be pay attention on he pays attention on it then what happened when you are not paying attention on certain things and which should not be paid or with the dhamma you should pay attention on you are paying attention on what happened unreason kama sabo does not arise what it says जस भीकवे धम्मे मनसी करो तो अनुपन्नो वातामासो what he the things of tassa amanasi karniyanang dhammanang amanasikara manasi karniyanang dhammanang manasikara anupanna chev aswano panchati so prembhu says beautifully what he says that by not attending to the things unfit to for attention and by attain uh, attending to things fit for attention unreason tense do not arise and uh, arise in him and uh, arisen tense are abandoned by just thinking see understanding what is visible what what is uh, we should pay attention seeing this thing exist in me we can change that so this thing this person him so idam dukham ki yoni so manasi karoti so this person seeing in his life this dhamma exists in me this unwise attention in in me you know wise consideration should be there but there is unwise consideration the noble disciple see that these things exist in me what he does so idam dukham ki yoni so manasi karoti so the noble disciple what he does the person who learned dhamma what he say idang dukha this is suffering he thinks on it ayan dukha samudayoti yoniso manasikara this is the origin of suffering he pays attention on it ayan dukha nirodoti yoniso manasikara this is the cessation of suffering he pays attention on it ayang dukkha nirodha gamini patipadati yoniso manasi karo this is that lead to cessation of suffering is pay attention on it tassa eva yoniso manasi karo ti karo to tini sanyojanani pahi by paying attention on this is suffering you are looking this is suffering this is origin of suffering this is cessation of suffering this is cessation the path lead to cessation of suffering by paying attention on it looking this thing continuously what happened tidi sayojanani pahinanti it means by paying attention by looking at it by seeing it sri sanyojana three fetters is get rid of in him abandon his life what are those three fetters is abandoned in him sakkaya ditti the personal view vichikicha the doubts sila bad paramaso it means the otherness or to rules and observation the strong view toward this is the view holding the view particular things silabat paramas about precepts and observations 
This is called Supreme Buddha should be abandoned by seeing. So, what to see in our life? That this particular thing exists in me. I am paying unwise consideration and wise consideration in particular these things and thoughts that you have to see in your life. Hmm? This is the thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, every day when you see in your life, when you look at your life, try to find out what way I am thinking in. Am I having the thoughts of unwise person? Am I having the thought of wise person? And completing all of these thoughts, what should you see in your life? This is suffering. This is origin of suffering. This is cessation of suffering. This is path lead to cessation of suffering. You should really, really pay attention on this. You should really, really see these things in your life. Then the path journey of will finish. So I'm not saying when you see the suffering, feel sorrow for that. No, it's not a suffering. Like some of the people, when they see the suffering in their life, what they, they, they travel in negativity. You know very well. It's, if you see the suffering in your life, you fall into the negativity. This Dhamma, the seeing is not about negativity. Seeing suffering in your life, not to bring the negativity in your life. See the Dhamma that this exists, that's all. And this exists because of this certain reason. If the reason is there, it means cessation is there too. And this Dhamma is to help for that. That particular thing you should have. I hope you understand this one part. This is a very huge sutta and very well explained by Buddha. Sabhasava Sutta. Seven ways Supreme Buddha explained, and we have talked only one. We talked about all the views we hold. I am, I am not, means from all the different faiths, for all the different religions for the native people to the how well-educated people or, you know, abrogenous people up to us, the most civilized, civilized person, you will find the way of thinking is same because of unwise consideration. Paying attention to that, we should not be paying attention on it. Simply, Supreme Buddha explaining in there, if you think that you will be there or you will not be there, by thinking, can you change that? No, you cannot change. So you're thinking on which is useless thing in your life. So avoiding that, that is important. Okay, so let's share first. Um, may this sutta, the dasana pahatabha, may this sutta be helpful for all of you to realize the Dhamma and develop the eye to see the dharma in your life you may pay the attention on dharma may this sutta be helpful for you to develop the practice of the mind this gautam buddha dispensation sadhu sadhu sadhu